nice nice little warm up. All right, yeah, that's a warm up exercise. So we got to start again. All right, here we go. How far does Anthony Hopkins get into a part? I mean, are you like any fun to be around when you're doing these unlikable scenes, or do you pretty much cut it off when you walk off the set and you're Tony Hopkins, and you come back and you're into that mold again? I cut off very quickly. Um, depending on the you know, the intensity of the work. I, I don't mean intensity and emotional intensity, that's just a technique. I'm sure the method boys can appreciate that. But uh, if it's a massive part like Nixon was, or Picasso, at, uh, all, all I do feel is a kind of um, tiredness at the end of the day, but I try and keep it light. Do you ever find yourself, I know I asked this question of Henry Mancini, if he ever stole from himself because he had such a body of work, do you ever find yourself with little tricks, little things you're doing, stealing from other roles so unconsciously? I try not to do that. And I, I watch the movie, I've seen Picasso, and I'm not, uh, I only go to see it to see what I ought not to do, what I don't like about myself. Or, I mean, I don't mind seeing myself on screen with its whatever part it is. But I think, yeah, I've done that trick before. I think I'll eliminate that on the next one. Because, you know, in your personality and the repetition of stuff over the years, you start to, you start to get lazy and repeat things. Um, I'll actually steal from other people, too, the best, you know. If I see something another actor does, I think, yeah, that's good. I'll cheat and take a bit of that. Make it mine. I think we're all influenced by other people, you know. When you're a young actor working out, or if you were watching some young actor, is one of the harder things to do not so much do the dialogue and memorize the part, but to listen or walk or just, you know, do something silently? That, that would seem to me that would be even more difficult than remembering the line. The gestures, the pauses. Well, I think the foundation, and this is a very European, maybe British school of acting, I believe that uh, the text is the most important thing. You learn it so deeply, just learn it so that you know it. It's no good improvising and pretending you know it. If you don't know it, you don't know it. If you just half know it, you don't know it, really. And therefore, you can't relax. Once you know it so well, you can then afford to listen. And listening is the most important thing, is to listen to the other actor, because then you can respond. And that's the improvisation that will happen. Um, that's all I know about acting, is learning the stuff, knowing the text so well. That's where all the information is. I, I go over it and over and over and over. And I don't find it tedious. In fact, I find it very invigorating. But I just go over it and over and but until I know it. Picasso, you, you were talking about how you, he was maybe a, not a nice guy to certainly women, and we see that in the movie. I didn't see him totally as a monster, but I guess you can't see anybody as totally unlikable, totally good. You've got to have that ambivalence about him to make him interesting. Yes, you can't demonize him. He was a great artist, and I... I guess he was a great genius. He's a life force in various books I've read about him. I've only met one person who did know him or met him. Uh, he was uh, great energy, lived until he was 92, smoked like a chimney. Um, I don't think he drank much. I don't think he ate very much, but just energy. Uh, and I think his treatment of people, I think he needed to be adored all the time. He needed to be, he couldn't take criticism and you had to worship him. If you didn't worship him, it was out. Adios, you know. And uh, I can understand that. He was self-consumed. And he probably treated people shabbily. Ever met any actors like that? Actors? Yeah. I'm a bit like that. You want to be a door? I think all... No, I think, I, I think you know, I, I used to be very tunnel vision about what I used to... I don't like criticism. So I don't read the papers, I don't read uh, the critics. Um, I think I've modified all that part of myself now, I hope. Actors are very selfish. Uh, the trick I've got is to keep it in perspective and think, well, you know, I'm not discovering a cure for disease, I'm an actor. And I try not to take it too seriously. I don't tr try not to take it seriously at all. Love your work, sir. Thanks, Thanks a lot, very much. Thank you.